Okay, hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be taking the inverse of a function. As you can see here, we got f of x is equal to 2 plus 2x over negative 3 plus 5x. We're going to be beginning to understand what is the exact mechanics of taking the inverse of a function. Now notice one thing about this, that this starts out with function notation. So our first step is to take it out of function notation. Okay, so our first step is to write y is equal to 2 plus 2x over negative 3 plus 5x. This is nothing more than the simple rewrite. We just took out the f of x and just made it a y. Okay, the next thing to do is to uh, take all the x's within the function and replace them with a y, and then take the y that was sitting outside and replace it with an x. So now we have x is equal to 2 plus 2y over negative 3 plus 5y. This is the essence of a inverse function, in which case the x and y, particularly the independent and dependent variables, interchange place. So this is what an inverse function really is. Now all we have to do is multiply both sides by the denominator of the uh, rational expression right there. So we take negative 3 plus 5y and multiply it to either side of the equation. Now this causes the negative 3 plus 5y in the denominator of the rational expression right there on the right side to cancel out with what we just multiplied. That gives us negative 3 plus 5y within parentheses times x is equal to 2 plus 2y. The next step is to take the x, which is outside the parentheses, and using the distributive property, multiply it to each term within the parentheses. So we're going to multiply the negative 3 times the x and the 5y times the x. Okay, and that gives us negative 3x plus 5yx is equal to 2 plus 2y. Now we're going to have to get all the y's on the left side of the equation and all the x's on the right side of the equation. Y, we want to get it to so that we have the y by itself equal to whatever our answer is. So that is the objective of this uh, type of problem. We're dr we switched out the y and the x and now the thing we have to do is get the y on the left side and the x's on the right side. So to do that in this step we subtract uh, 2y from both sides. So we subtract 2y on the right side and subtract 2y on the left side. Okay, and here we see that the uh, 2y subtracted from a 2y on the right side obviously go to zero, so it in effect cancels out. And here's the equation without the 2y. So going back to what I was saying earlier in the presentation, the y's need to be presented by themselves. So we want something that says y is equal to whatever so that we know that y is equal to that stuff and remember we're doing a inverse function here so the thing are the thing we need to do at this point is to factor out the y from every term that contains a y and here I've highlighted each y in this equation here we see that the y has been factored out to give us negative 3x plus y times 5x minus 2 is equal to 2 so again, we factor out the y, and we got the expression y multiplied to 5x minus 2 within parentheses. Again, here we see that we're trying to get the x's on one side and leaving the y on the left side. So at this point, we're going to add 3x to each side. We're going to add 3x to the left side and add 3x to the right side. That gives us y times 5x minus 2 is equal to 2 plus 3x. Now once again, uh, I keep saying this, but this is the goal of the problem. We're trying to get the y by itself. So here we have the y m being multiplied to an expression, so the opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to have to divide that 5x minus 2 term. So we divide the left side by 5x minus 2 and the right side by 5x minus 2. So here we see the 5x minus 2 canceling out with the 5x minus 2 in the denominator. And here we have the y by itself is equal to 3x plus 2 divided by 5x minus 2. 
Again, so at this point, we've reached the y by itself being equal to something. And that is our main goal in the entire steps before. We're just arithmetic, trying to get ourselves to this point. Our final step is to, at this point, replace the y with the inverse function notation. Here we have the f with the little negative 1 up in the superscript. Uh, that, that is not an exponent. That's just simply saying it's inverse notation. Uh, I actually forgot the x. I should have said f negative 1 parentheses x is equal to whatever is out there. So that is the, uh, how, that's the process on how to find a inverse of a function. Don't forget to visit echomath.com for more help on math problems. Thanks for watching.